Here is an incredibly intense video that involves a high-speed pursuit, near misses, and a successful arrest. It all began when a Michigan State Police trooper witnessed an RV running a red light at the intersection of M46 and M91. The trooper strategically deployed spike strips near M82 and Amy School, hoping to deflate the RV's tires and slow it down. However, the situation took a dangerous turn when the RV refused to stop. We're coming up to the fire, guys. Heading south on US 131 in the northbound lanes, the RV was amidst traffic congestion caused by an unrelated car fire. Ignoring the risk, the driver attempted to navigate between both lanes of traffic and collided with four civilian-driven vehicles. Looks like County's at 14 miles on the northbound pass. Okay, County's got the freeway shut down at 12 miles. Eventually, the RV exited US 131 on the ramp to 17 Mile Road, turning east. At this moment, troopers executed a pit maneuver to safely stop the RV and bring this dangerous pursuit to an end. This dashcam footage takes us to the heart of Harlan, Indiana, where a relentless tornado wreaked havoc and destruction. Brace yourselves as we recount the incredible scenes captured by a vigilant police officer's dashcam in a stunning display of nature's might. A police officer's dash cam captured the terrifying sight of a tornado as it swept through Harlan, Indiana. The sky darkened and chaos unfolded as the tornado left a path of destruction in its wake. The winds howled and debris flew. The police officer's dash cam recorded every heart-stopping moment of the tornado's path of destruction. Trees were torn and uprooted and the very fabric of the town seemed to tremble before nature's unrelenting might. In this video, an incident unfolds in Gilmore, Australia, when a 31-year-old Chisholm man finds himself in quite a predicament. It all begins when the man's Toyota utility vehicle pulls out in front of a marked police car. What happens next is nothing short of audacious. The driver, seemingly unfazed by the presence of law enforcement, decides to perform a burnout directly in front of the marked police car for a jaw-dropping 20 seconds. The entire incident is captured on the police dash cam leaving no room for doubt about what transpired. The driver returns a positive roadside alcohol screen and later registers a staggering 0.151 on the breathalyzer, which is more than three times the legal limit of 0.05. As a result, his driver's license is immediately suspended and his vehicle is seized. Additionally, he's charged with drunk driving and improper motor vehicle use. A woman in distress locked herself in a bathroom at a Texaco gas station after being kidnapped and assaulted. She called 911, prompting a swift response from Marietta Police. The chase escalated quickly as it transitioned onto southbound Cobb Parkway and continued westbound on South Cobb Drive. The situation took a dangerous turn as Head showed a complete disregard for public safety accelerating to high speeds and making reckless maneuvers in an apparent effort to ram the van into police cruisers. The intensity of the pursuit posed a grave threat to law enforcement and innocent bystanders. The pursuit came to a crashing halt on South Cobb Drive between Fairground Street and Atlanta Road. Head swerved the stolen van into another civilian vehicle, resulting in a serious auto accident. Head and the other driver were transported to Wellstar Kennestone Hospital for medical attention. In this jaw-dropping footage, captured on July 2nd, 2023, we witness a high-speed police chase that ended in a catastrophic wreck. The scenes depict the intense moments leading up to the crash. There were skid marks from the vehicle tires on the road, and the car went airborne after hitting the concrete center divider. The pursuing police vehicles diligently try to keep up, their sirens blaring through the night. Whoa, the moon. Oh, oh my gosh. The car. Watch. The lights. And there it is. A heart-stopping moment as the suspect's car collides with the concrete center divider, launching the vehicle into the air like something out of an action movie. It slams into that concrete center divider with a heart-stopping thud, sending shockwaves through the scene. You can practically feel the raw force of the impact just by looking at the wreckage it leaves behind. Unbelievable. 
Next is the footage of a high-speed pursuit and arrest in Sebastian County, Arkansas. The incident unfolded with a vehicle theft reported in the area, which subsequently led to a pursuit involving law enforcement officers. The driver was arrested on suspicion of multiple serious charges. The pursuit kicks off as Porter, in a stolen pickup truck, reaches speeds of around 100 miles per hour and engages in a reckless rampage. The pursuit escalated quickly with Porter ramming multiple law enforcement vehicles, endangering the lives of officers and innocent bystanders. He does have a gun in hand. Just continue on, sir. Date road towards 71. I'm 10 7. During this harrowing pursuit, Porter rams multiple law enforcement vehicles and even attempts to ram an innocent vehicle on the road. The pursuit eventually led to the arrest of Porter, who was taken into custody on suspicion of eight counts of felony aggravated assault, fleeing, and being a felon in possession of a firearm. Our next video takes us to Minneapolis, where a routine morning became chaotic as a reckless driver attempted to escape law enforcement. The events unfolded on Highway 100 in Robbinsdale, where the driver's actions caught the attention of the vigilant police. As the pursuit began, tensions escalated rapidly, culminating in a tragic crash near the intersection of 42nd Avenue North and Regents Avenue. The impact of the collision left a lasting mark on the scene, leaving behind a trail of destruction and heartache. In a harrowing turn of events, the fleeing driver violently collided with a school bus from behind, carrying 22 innocent children. The impact of the crash was devastating, leaving a trail of chaos and heartache in its wake. Emergency crews swiftly arrived at the scene, responding to the distress calls and attending to the injured. The aftermath of the collision was truly heart-wrenching, with seven children on the school bus reporting injuries. Here is an exhilarating police chase that will leave you on the edge of your seat. In this dashcam footage, we witness a daring escape that could only be described as a stroke of luck, quick thinking, and a bit of strategy. It all began with the flash of sirens and the following adrenaline-pumping pursuit. Our dashcam caught every heart-stopping moment as the suspect's vehicle led law enforcement on a high-speed chase through the streets. As the chase continued, the suspect found himself in a stroke of luck at a bustling intersection. He expertly navigated the chaos, leaving a trail of rubber behind. The long burnout allowed him to gain some crucial distance, leaving the pursuing officers momentarily in the dust. Now, here's where the plot thickens. The pursuing officer made a calculated decision to halt at stoplights, ensuring the safety of innocent bystanders and preventing potential collisions. While this slowed down the pursuit, it displayed an unfaltering commitment to public safety and at the perfect moment, he vanished from view, leaving officers puzzled and the chase in the rearview mirror. Up next is a police chase involving a drunk driver. The footage unfolds with a police car pursuing a drunk driver. Until the very end, the drunk driver was being chased by a police van. Despite the reckless actions of the drunk driver, law enforcement officers remained determined and focused on their mission to bring this individual to justice. Here is the electrifying footage of a daring bank robber on the run, followed by a heart-racing police chase in Macomb County. The video begins with a van parked on the side of the road, surrounded by police officers. The authorities had cornered the suspect and demanded that he exit the vehicle. But the suspect refused to comply and instead accelerated away, setting off a dramatic chase. As the chase unfolded, the police utilized various tactics to apprehend the suspect. Eventually, they employed the pit maneuver. The pursuing officers executed the maneuver with expert precision, causing the suspect's van to swerve and struggle for control. The suspect's vehicle was cornered. It seemed like the chase had reached its climax. 
Just when the situation seemed to end, an unforeseen turn of events unfolded, taking everyone by surprise. The driver abandoned the van and took off, prompting an intense foot chase. The police officers were hot on his trail, determined not to let him escape. In this next video, we bring you a gripping and heart-wrenching story that unfolded on the streets of Sheridan, Arkansas. In this exclusive video, we'll delve into a high-speed police chase that took a tragic turn, leaving a community in shock. The sequence of events unfolded innocently enough when an officer from the Sheridan Police Department initiated a routine traffic stop within the confines of the city. However, to the officer's surprise, the driver behind the wheel adamantly chose not to adhere to their instructions, setting the stage for an intense and captivating pursuit that was about to commence. With each passing moment, the pursuit gained momentum. The suspect completely disregarded human life, driving erratically and endangering others on the road. Due to the ongoing danger posed by the suspect, the officer decided to use intentional intervention to stop the vehicle. The pursuit came to a tragic end when the suspect veered into the officer's lane, losing control and crashing into a roadside ditch. The next video story unfolds with a dash cam capturing a Tulsa police officer's routine patrol. As the officer drives, the footage reveals a surprising and concerning sight. The officer appears to be texting while behind the wheel. Just seconds after the officer is seen texting, the unexpected happens. Another driver collides with the police car, resulting in a wreck. According to police reports, the SUV driver crossed the median, resulting in a collision with the police car. The dash cam footage serves as critical evidence in assessing faults in this incident. Here is thrilling dash cam footage to share with you. A high-speed police chase along State HWY 8 in Warren, Arkansas, captured by Arkansas State Troopers. During the unfolding chase, the suspect demonstrates reckless behavior, persistently trying to escape capture despite law enforcement closing in. In a decisive move, Arkansas State Troopers utilized the pit maneuver, causing the suspect's car to lose control and bringing the pursuit closer to an end. The suspect's vehicle is swiftly encircled by a group of determined police officers who form a tight perimeter with their weapons at the ready. Faced with the overwhelming presence of law enforcement, the suspect reluctantly accepts the reality that his flashy getaway vehicle is no match for the long arm of the law. With the situation under control, officers cautiously approach the suspect's car, forcefully extracting him through the window and swiftly bringing him into custody. It is a decisive moment where law enforcement's unwavering commitment to public safety prevails, ensuring that justice is served. It was a day like any other on the busy streets of Brooklyn until a minivan with police in pursuit took center stage. This officer was at the right place and time, capturing the adrenaline-fueled chase that unfolded before their lens. As the minivan raced through the streets, you could feel the tension in the air. The driver seemed determined to evade capture, making dangerous maneuvers and narrowly avoiding collisions with other vehicles. The chase took a turn for the worse when the minivan, desperate to break free, crashed into several other cars with a heart-stopping impact. Screeching tires and crunching metal filled the air as chaos erupted on the streets of Brooklyn. Just when you thought the drama couldn't escalate further, the minivan's driver made a daring move, attempting to flee on foot. Next is a dash cam video from the Wyoming Highway Patrol that serves as a stark reminder of the dangers posed by high winds, especially for those traveling in light or high-profile vehicles. The video captured this incident that unfolded on the highways of Wyoming, a state known for its unpredictable and often fierce wind conditions. As you can see, the dash cam footage illustrates how rapidly a situation can spiral out of control when high winds are at play. In this instance, a vehicle, likely a high-profile one, loses control due to the strong crosswinds, resulting in a precarious situation. Next is an intense police chase that ended in the arrest of a man connected to a carjacking and murder. Let's dive into the details. I gotta go through the grass over here by the apartments. I gotta block the mailing. 
Anthony Butler Jr., the suspect in question, took law enforcement officers on a heart-pounding ride across multiple cities. The pursuit was filled with high-speed thrills and dangerous maneuvers. However, the adrenaline-fueled chase came to a crashing halt when Butler Jr. lost control and plowed Shane Bartek's car into a fence at an apartment complex in Euclid. The terrifying climax left onlookers in awe and brought an end to a chase that had captivated the attention of many. Hey, what's your name? I can't do nothing, man. Hey. No. Coming up over here, we're not going to secure the area. With their adrenaline pumping and guns drawn, the brave officers cautiously approached the suspect's vehicle, ready to take control of the situation. The suspect's reckless attempt to escape had led to serious charges, including fleeing, receiving stolen property, and a bunch of other traffic-related offences. It's a classic case of thinking you can outsmart the law. That's about as futile as trying to outrun your shadow. Trying to evade the law? Good luck with that. It's a losing battle from the start. On April 10th, 2020, at approximately 6.40 a.m., the police received a call for assistance. They were in pursuit of a black pickup truck driven by Justin Battenfield. The pickup had been recklessly maneuvering through traffic lights and even passing vehicles on the shoulder of US-71. As the pursuit continued, Battenfield's actions became increasingly dangerous. He ignored traffic lights, veered onto the shoulder, and even crossed into oncoming traffic. Trooper Sean Ellis was instructed to halt the pickup immediately. He executed a pit maneuver in an attempt to immobilize the vehicle. During the pit maneuver, the trooper's unit made contact with the passenger side of Battenfield's vehicle. Both vehicles left the road, with Battenfield's truck overturning and his vehicle becoming airborne as it passed over his. Regrettably, Justin Battenfield sustained fatal injuries due to the collision, while trooper Sean Ellis also incurred severe injuries. This footage involves a police officer engaged in conversation with an individual, and from the looks of it, it seems like the officer is requesting a sobriety test. This unexpected turn of events adds a layer of intrigue to the situation. It all began on a day that seemed like any other for a police officer conducting a traffic stop. The officer was likely asking the driver to perform a sobriety test, a standard procedure in such situations. This guy decides to throw something at the vehicle, but what makes this incident truly strange is what happens next. First, he threw something at the police car, but that wasn't the end of it. In a shocking move, the driver decided to escalate the situation further. He jumped up and sat on the police car's windshield, shattering it right in front of the officer. Now, we shift our attention to a gripping police pursuit led by the Franklin County Sheriff's Office. What initially began as a high-stakes chase quickly spiralled into a tragic sequence of events. The pursuit began when Lieutenant Ed Schillig of the Franklin County Sheriff's Office spotted a Chevy sedan speeding at 74 miles per hour in a 60 miles per hour zone. He immediately activated his lights and sirens, but the stolen car refused to stop. The situation escalated quickly as speeds reached over 100 miles per hour. During the intense pursuit captured on the cruiser camera, a heartbreaking incident occurred involving an innocent pedestrian named Arthur Smith. The camera footage reveals the harrowing moment when the stolen car collided with Smith, launching him into the air before he crashed onto the pavement. The immediate reaction of the police officers on the scene mirrored the shock and despair felt by everyone present. It was a heartbreaking reminder of the human toll that high-speed pursuits can inflict. It's a calm August evening in Rapid City, and Jeff Siemens is cruising through town with his wife and stepdaughter en route to Montana. But then, out of nowhere, a life-threatening emergency strikes. Oh, dear God! Come on, Chris. Somebody, please, hurry! Oh, dear back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, my Let's, God. Let's Siemens goes into cardiac arrest, sending his loved ones into panic mode. In a matter of minutes, the Rapid City Police Department springs into action. Officer Kathleen Callery rushes to the scene, closely followed by Officer Chris Hunt and Officer Michael Freibarger. Together, 
they form a united front, ready to face the challenge head on. We're gonna have to pull them up the hill a little bit more. <laughs> These officers waste no time. They jump into action, performing CPR and delivering a crucial AD shock. Their quick thinking and unwavering determination become the lifeline that Jeff Siemens desperately needs. Siemens' condition improves steadily, thanks to the collective efforts of these everyday heroes. Up next, in Pelham, New Hampshire, an alarming incident unfolded involving the arrest of an intoxicated man armed with a knife. Law enforcement in Pelham responded to a distress call about an intoxicated man threatening his family with a knife. Drop the knife! Put the knife down! The incident unfolded at 2.23 p.m. and tensions were running high. As officers arrived, they encountered 34-year-old Christopher Lanzillo on Burns Road, wielding a knife and posing a significant threat to those in the vicinity. Drop the, drop the knife now! Drop it now! Drop it now! Drop it now! The situation was especially concerning because Lanzillo was not fully clothed and only wore pants. Moreover, he was less than a quarter mile from Pelham High School where students were actively being dismissed. Hey, drop the knife! Hey, listen. I got the they managed to apprehend Lanzillo and secure the area, preventing any harm from coming to the public or the students at the nearby high school. Here is a police chase in Newark, Ohio. A police officer noticed a suspect driving recklessly, prompting the officer to initiate a pursuit. What followed was a jaw-dropping 35-minute chase through winding country roads, gravel paths and dirt tracks. In this gripping dash cam footage, the suspect behind the wheel of a front-wheel drive Buick showcases a jaw-dropping skill, effortlessly maneuvering through sharp corners marked with a mere 25 miles per hour speed limit at mind-boggling speeds exceeding 80 miles per hour. Even in a powerful police interceptor, the pursuing officer finds it difficult to keep up with the suspect's evasive tactics and lightning-fast reflexes. The officer's superb focus and composure allowed them to navigate the challenging country roads, including gravel and dirt, while keeping the suspect in sight. The tension rises as the chase reaches its climax. The dash cam captures the heart-stopping moment when the suspect's luck finally runs out. With a bone-chilling crash, the suspect's car meets its demise, abruptly ending the high-stakes chase. In Woonsocket, South Dakota, Two police cars equipped with dashboard cameras capture an awe-inspiring sight as they navigate through a storm. Making a routine left turn, they reveal a massive tornado stretching across the sky. The sirens blare as the patrol cars drive along Highway 37, and the officers slow down to witness the tornado's immense power. The video captures the tornado's slow movement across the landscape. In the blink of an eye, the crazy powerful tornado we were just watching starts to chill out. This once ferocious and fearsome twister begins to do a disappearing act. Its wild strength kind of shrinks away, and before you know it, it's turned into these wispy floaty clouds. It's like a total transformation right before our eyes. This next video happened in Toole County, Utah on March 2nd, 2022. Around 10 a.m., a Utah trooper pulled over a semi-truck on westbound I-80 near mile marker 85, a routine traffic stop or so it seemed. Another semi-truck driver noticed the traffic stop and attempted to move over. Unfortunately, during this maneuver, the second semi-truck collided with a black passenger vehicle. The impact caused the driver of the second semi-truck to overcorrect, leading to a collision with both the Utah trooper's vehicle and the semi-truck that had been pulled over. You can't, are you, are you can't, can you? We gotta get out. Stay here for your protection, okay? 12, 436, It was a chaotic chain reaction. The crash was so severe that one of the trailers broke open, spilling packages of eggs all over the interstate. The scene was a mess to say the least. 
a robbery occurred in North Toledo, where a woman was allegedly held at gunpoint. Toledo police responded and quickly obtained a description of the suspect's vehicle. As the pursuit unfolded, the suspect's reckless behavior put themselves and others in grave danger. The suspect initiated a pit maneuver on their vehicle, causing it to spin out. Astonishingly, the suspect quickly got back on the road, continuing the erratic escape. In a jarring turn of events, the suspect's desperate attempts to evade capture came to a halt near the intersection of Summit and Suda. Law enforcement officers exhibited exceptional determination as they swiftly closed in on the suspects, who ultimately abandoned their vehicle and attempted to flee on foot. The suspects were apprehended with their escape route cut off, ending their reckless run from the law. The tireless efforts of the officers ensured that justice prevailed and the community remained safe. In a daring attempt to stop a man driving a stolen Jeep, the Menta police embark on a high-stakes pursuit. As the chase unfolds, the potential consequences become apparent. The suspect's reckless driving could have disastrous outcomes, endangering the lives of pedestrians and drivers in oncoming traffic. The tension rises as the officers work tirelessly to prevent any harm. In a heart-pounding climax, the suspect's jeep pulls off a crazy move, narrowly avoiding disaster. A close call with a pedestrian and an oncoming car, the tension skyrockets as the chase unfolds, adrenaline pumping for all onlookers. The jeep crashes into a massive semi-truck, trapping the suspect. Cue the cops, swooping in for a movie-style ending to this wild chase. Up next, we got a police chase that occurred in Russia. The suspect being chased here is armed with fireworks. As the pursuit unfolds, you can see the man with fireworks creating quite the spectacle on the streets. It's a sight to behold with sparks flying and explosions lighting the night. Now, here's the kicker. After a wild chase, you might wonder where this man was headed. Well, it turns out that he was using fireworks as his ticket out. He ended up getting sent off to Ukraine. While driving back to headquarters, Sergeant Scott found himself facing a severe thunderstorm with an approaching tornado. Aware of the imminent danger, he knew he had to act swiftly to ensure his safety. The tornado warning is still in effect. Let's go back to the storm tracker and we have David Payne here on the camera. Let's go back to David. David, what do you got? All right, Mike, go ahead and have a good Caught during a torrential downpour and battling against strong winds, Sergeant Scott made the difficult decision to pull over and wait for the storm to subside. The dashcam footage vividly captures the intensifying rain and rapidly decreasing visibility, illustrating law enforcement officers' challenging conditions in the line of duty. In a remarkable display of bravery and dedication, Sergeant Scott remained composed as a tornado ominously approached his parked car. The gripping dashcam footage captured the intense moment when the swirling debris and dark storm clouds passed perilously close to his vehicle. Sergeant Scott's calmness and unyielding commitment to his duty are truly commendable. The Sterling Heights Police Department recently released this remarkable footage, showcasing an officer's swift response that turned a potentially tragic situation into a story of hope and heroism. As the officer arrives, he's greeted by a frantic family clutching their three-week-old baby girl who suddenly stops breathing. Let me see the baby. With poise and determination, Officer Makiejewski takes the fragile infant into his arms, his training kicking in as he initiates a life-saving intervention. Okay, hold on. Hold on. With steadfast determination, Officer Makiejewski applies forceful back thrusts directed at dislodging the obstruction in the baby's airway. Finally, in a moment of triumph, the baby expels the blockage and breaks into cries. He's crying. He's crying. He's okay. He's crying. David 10, baby's crying. A sound that brings a wave of relief and renewed optimism to everyone in the room. 
On November 11, 2021, a child abduction suspect sent the Milwaukee police on a high-speed pursuit. The chase finally came to a halt on Port Washington Road in Glendale, Wisconsin. The suspect's reckless actions led to a crash, but that's not where this story ends. Despite the chaos, the child was safely reunited with their family, and no one was injured. All right, step up, face away from the sound of my voice. Step up, face away from the sound of my voice. It's baffling to think about the audacity it takes for someone to flee from the authorities, especially when they've committed such a grave crime as child abduction. The suspect was arrested, and most importantly, the child at the center of it all was safely reunited with their family. It was a moment of triumph for the police officers who worked tirelessly to bring this ordeal to an end. On April 15th, a man wanted in connection with a prior shooting sparked a gripping pursuit with the Michigan State Police 5th District Fugitive Team. The gripping dashcam footage takes us on a thrilling journey through residential neighborhoods and the bustling streets of downtown Kalamazoo. The suspect, driving in the wrong direction on Michigan Avenue, leaves a trail of adrenaline and danger in his wake. Undeterred by the risks, the dedicated law enforcement officers chase the suspect relentlessly, their relentless commitment to public safety driving them forward. The pursuit reached its climax at the intersection of West Kalamazoo Avenue and North Park Street, where Thrasher's vehicle ultimately crashed. Determined to evade capture, Thrasher decided to flee on foot. However, the swift response of the police officers ensured his immediate apprehension, bringing an end to the high-stakes chase. Arkansas State Police Trooper Donnie Cheers found himself in a heart-pounding situation when he attempted to pull over an SUV for speeding on Interstate 55. What followed was a high-speed chase, a DUI arrest, and a series of legal proceedings that continue to unfold. In his report, Trooper Cheers noted that Williams was only able to produce a paper copy of her driver's license. He performed field sobriety tests, which indicated impairment. Williams was then given a preliminary breath test to measure her blood alcohol content, which registered above the legal limit. Uh, no, you're not. No, you're not. Go ahead and put your hands behind you, man. Upon informing Williams of her arrest for DUI, she refused to cooperate and tried to flee. A dramatic struggle ensued, with Williams pulling away from Trooper Cheers and fleeing in her vehicle. The pursuit was on, with Trooper Cheers following the Honda pilot through a red light. The pursuit continued until Trooper Cheers lost sight of the fleeing vehicle on the east side of 7th Street. He made the difficult decision to terminate the pursuit, considering the safety of all involved. Next, we have the dashcam footage that documents the tragic sequence of events that unfolded mere minutes after a sheriff's deputy initiated a routine traffic stop. The blue passenger car, we're still moving. There's a tag on it. I see a Porsche going a lot with me here. This dashcam footage captures the moment when a police officer spots a speeding vehicle and promptly initiates a routine traffic stop. The situation takes an unexpected turn as the driver pulls into a shopping center parking lot and momentarily exits her vehicle. Despite the officer's repeated commands to return to her car, the driver displays defiance and refuses to comply. Tensions rise as she re-enters her vehicle and abruptly drives away, leaving the officer in pursuit. Clear out, clear out, dispatch rescue. She's in two, uh, four. One of five's in our just two minutes into the pursuit, the officer arrives at the scene of a horrific crash involving the suspect's heavily damaged car. Tragically, the impact was severe, leading to the ejection of the driver, who was pronounced dead at the scene. The footage serves as a stark reminder of the dangers and consequences that can arise from high-speed pursuits. In a recently resurfaced 2016 dashcam video that has gone viral, dozens of people jump out of a pickup truck and flee from law enforcement officers after a dramatic chase in Brooks County, Texas. This traffic stop unfolded near Encino, located in Brooks County, Texas. As the authorities attempted to detain the vehicle, it took a sudden and dangerous turn. Realizing they were facing police action, the driver of the stolen truck made a bold escape move by driving into oncoming traffic. After crossing the highway, the driver finally pulled over 
setting off a chaotic scene as more than 20 migrants emerged from various parts of the vehicle, fleeing in all directions. The dashcam footage captured a startling scene where more than a dozen individuals hastily disembarked from a crowded pickup truck, scattering in all directions after a police chase in Brooks County, Texas. A trooper spots a car traveling at a high rate of speed on Interstate 55, clocking it at 90 miles per hour in a 75 miles per hour zone. The suspect continues to evade the trooper, but loses control of their vehicle on Highway 158. Trooper Middlecoff performs a successful pit maneuver, briefly sending the suspect's car off the road. The chase intensifies as the suspect navigates through fields, even catching a little air while trying to escape. However, after hitting a dividing island, the suspect loses control once again. Realizing their escape is futile, the suspect surrenders, ending the adrenaline-fueled pursuit. The next footage is a high-speed chase saga from Vietnam. Vietnam police were hot on the trail of a fleeing robber, and what followed was a breathtaking chase that pushed the limits of skill and courage. The pursuit continued through multiple streets packed with vehicles and pedestrians, making every second of the chase a heart-stopping ordeal. The high-speed chase eventually reached its conclusion. The suspected criminal lost balance and fell from his motorcycle as he tried to evade another motorcycle from the opposite direction. In Ferndale, Michigan, a woman seizes an opportunity and takes off in an unoccupied police car. What follows is an adrenaline-fueled chase captured on the dash cam video. The dash cam footage reveals the heart-pounding pursuit as Hawkins speeds through the streets, reaching up to 100 miles per hour. She fearlessly maneuvers through traffic, even going against the traffic flow at times, narrowly avoiding collisions with other vehicles. The chase reaches a catastrophic conclusion when Hawkins collides with another vehicle at 83 miles per hour. Miraculously, neither Hawkins nor the other driver suffered serious injuries. A strange and puzzling incident occurred on Highway 50 near Lone Jack, Missouri. An erratic driver exhibiting bizarre behavior left many bystanders baffled. Stick around as we unravel the mystery surrounding this peculiar incident. Witnesses reported the driver's vehicle swerving and moving in a zigzag pattern, displaying erratic and unpredictable behavior. Adding to the confusion, the driver activated their hazard lights, signaling an issue or distress. What's up? Lance are on their way. Okay, okay. Out of her mind. Absolutely okay. I've been on the phone the whole time with the cops trying to get... What could have caused such bizarre behavior? Some speculated it might be related to driving under the influence or DUI, given the erratic driving. But as you rightly pointed out, she exhibited a degree of cognitive thinking by putting the car in reverse. Other theories suggest a sudden medical issue or a mental health crisis could have played a role in this bewildering incident. Witness this extraordinary and terrifying incident captured by the in-car camera of a Stafford Township police vehicle. The video starts innocently enough, showing Oak Avenue in a state of calm. Little did anyone know that a catastrophic event was about to unfold. Suddenly, chaos erupts as the house explodes into pieces, sending shockwaves through the neighborhood. The force of the blast left seven utility workers injured, two of them in critical condition. The house, empty and undergoing renovation, is completely demolished. The debris field spreads over a one-quarter mile area, and neighboring homes sustain significant damage. 
Up next is footage of the Folsom Police Department's mounted unit catching some daring thieves who allegedly stole thousands of dollars worth of merchandise from an outlet mall. The Folsom Police Department's mounted unit is known for its holiday patrols in busy shopping centers, helping to deter theft during the shopping season. On a seemingly routine patrol day, two mounted unit members were out patrolling the Folsom outlets when they stumbled upon something extraordinary. To their astonishment, they discovered individuals who had allegedly swiped armfuls of clothing from one of the stores. These officers, mounted on their trusty steeds, would not let these thieves escape. With precision and teamwork, they cornered the suspects, leading to their capture. Next, we bring you an extremely tragic story that underscores the devastating consequences that can arise from a police pursuit. The pursuit began in Troy and extended north towards Huber Heights. As officers followed the suspect, 19-year-old Jalen Alexander, they discovered he had outstanding warrants, including charges of felonious assault and child endangerment. This raised concerns about the safety of the community. The chase ended in a heartbreaking tragedy, claiming two individuals' lives and leaving two others injured. Officers quickly arrived at the scene to assess the situation. Despite the swift response of emergency personnel, their injuries proved too severe. It was a seemingly ordinary day in Newnan, but the calm was shattered when a woman, later identified as Rose Becker, triggered a high-speed police chase that sent shockwaves through the city. The chase took an alarming turn when Becker raced through a school zone while students were making their way home. At a staggering speed of 70 miles per hour, she weaved through the streets with officers in hot pursuit. All right, back off, back off, I won't hit them. Striving to bring the dramatic chase to an end, speeds escalated to a jaw-dropping 90 miles per hour, setting the stage for a showdown of epic proportions. The chase reached its thrilling climax when authorities finally cornered Becker off Fisher Road. In a synchronized move, they surrounded her vehicle, promptly placing her under arrest. A search of her car uncovered a startling discovery, possible cocaine and marijuana, adding another layer of complexity to the unfolding drama. Up next, we have footage of an unconventional chicken chaser who had quite the encounter with the police. In Borowash, where he may have aspirations of becoming the next Valentino Rossi, a local biker decides to put his prowess to the test. However, when he decides not to stop for the cops, things change and a chase begins. It's crucial to understand that police pursue motorcyclists when they pose a risk to the public. As the pursuit unfolds, our chicken chaser seemingly attempts an impressive maneuver known as an endo or an end over end stunt. While this might have been a bold move, it doesn't end well for our aspiring rider. Fortunately, there's no damage to the police car, but the rider ends up with a sore ankle and a date in court. Our next footage takes place in Auburn Hills, Michigan, where a routine patrol turned into a high-stakes chase. Is that beer? Yeah. Let me your driver license. Why are you drinking beer? Oh, I'm Shut off. On an intense day on June 12th, a vigilant sergeant stumbled upon a white Chevrolet S10 parked at a construction site well past operating hours. Sensing trouble, he quickly sprang into action, initiating an exhilarating pursuit of Crosley, the person suspected to be involved in the incident. The chase intensified as they raced down Bald Mountain Road, careening through the streets and putting the lives of innocent bystanders at grave risk. The stakes were high, and the pursuit unfolded with heart-pounding intensity. Prioritizing the community's safety, the sergeant chose to terminate the chase. But the story didn't end there for Victor Crosley. A twist emerged when it was discovered that the license plate on his truck had been reported stolen in another city, deepening the mystery surrounding this incident. Next, 
we bring you a deeply tragic story that underscores the devastating consequences that can arise from a police pursuit. The pursuit began in Troy and extended north towards Huber Heights. As officers pursued the suspect, 19-year-old Jalen Alexander, with outstanding warrants, including charges of felonious assault and child endangerment, raising concerns about the safety of the community. The pursuit concluded in a devastating and heart-wrenching tragedy, casting a dark shadow as it claimed the lives of two individuals and inflicted injuries upon two others. 431, I need medic. Swiftly, officers arrived at the scene to gauge the gravity of the situation. Despite the rapid and valiant efforts of emergency personnel, the injuries sustained by those involved proved too severe. Milwaukee police officers were on the lookout for a vehicle wanted in connection with a carjacking when the driver of the vehicle refuses to stop for officers in the area of North 76th Street and Mill Road. A pursuit ensues. The dash cam captures the chase through city streets as the suspects attempt to evade the pursuing officers. As the chase unfolds, officers remain focused on their mission, determined to bring the carjacking suspects to justice. In the end, the police managed to arrest three of the suspects. The pursuit was intense, but ultimately led to the teen's arrest. Our video begins in the Hilliard area, where police initiated a pursuit. The tractor-trailer driver refused to pull over, setting off a high-stakes chase that unfolded on the busy freeways of I-270. He is conscious, he just cracked it. The scared me was, he veered off. Numerous reports flooded the dispatch center, with concerned citizens describing the driver's erratic behavior and witnessing the truck dangerously swerving across the freeway. In a quick response, Hilliard police sprang into action, recognizing the urgency to regain control of the situation. With determination and a commitment to public safety, they initiated the pursuit, determined to apprehend the driver and mitigate any potential harm caused by their reckless actions. The pursuit grew increasingly intense as the truck sped along I-270, pushing towards the junction with I-70 in East Columbus. After a relentless chase, the truck finally came to a temporary halt near East Main Street. To the authorities' surprise, the truck's cargo turned out to be syrup. The driver's motives behind the erratic behavior remain unclear, but one thing is certain, they committed multiple traffic violations throughout the pursuit. In the Green Sea area, a police car dashboard camera captured a series of events that would forever change the lives of those involved. As the officer chased after the speeding motorcyclist, things got tense real quick. The motorcyclist, fully aware of the risk, thought it would be a good idea to play a game of cat and mouse with the law. But little did he know, his choice was about to come back and bite him big time. The consequences were no joke. It was one of those moments where you just shake your head and wonder what they were thinking. The situation took a turn for the worse, leaving a lasting impact on everyone involved and the community. The police officer skillfully closed the distance between them. The sound of sirens blaring filled the air, urging the motorcyclist to reconsider his actions but he continued accelerating, weaving through traffic, seemingly determined to evade capture. And then, in a split second, the motorcyclist, perhaps sensing the imminent danger, turned his head briefly. But it was too late. The collision was unavoidable. The catastrophic impact sent shockwaves through the scene. The next video took place on July 9th, 2023, in Webb County, Texas, an area near the US-Mexico border, known for its challenges in enforcing border security. It all started when a smuggler took off in a Chevy Suburban, leading TXDPS troopers on a high-speed pursuit along US-83. The driver of the Suburban navigated through neighborhoods at speeds reaching up to 90 miles per hour. However, 
The pursuit took an even more complex turn when a white Volkswagen Jetta interfered with the chase, attempting to block the troopers from pursuing the Suburban. The driver of the Volkswagen, who attempted to evade troopers, ended up crashing. This individual, a resident of Laredo, was arrested and charged with evading arrest, smuggling of individuals, and interfering with public duties. During this incident, two illegal immigrants were apprehended and referred to the US Border Patrol. In our next video, we delve into a heartbreaking incident that occurred during a high-speed police chase in Sheridan, Arkansas. It all began innocently enough with a routine traffic stop initiated by an officer from the Sheridan Police Department. However, the situation turned unexpectedly when the driver refused to comply with the officer's instructions. Little did anyone know, this would set the stage for an intense and captivating pursuit. Recognizing the threat posed by the suspect, the officer decided to utilize intentional intervention tactics to stop the ongoing chase. Sadly, the pursuit ended in tragedy as the suspect swerved into the officer's lane, leading to a loss of control and a devastating crash into a roadside ditch. The outcome was heart-wrenching, underscoring the grave risks of high-speed chases and the potential harm they can cause to innocent lives. In 2012, Yorba Linda, California, witnessed a series of underground electrical vault explosions that not only left a community in the dark, but also showcased the bravery of first responders. As if from a movie, a police officer patrolling the streets captured an astonishing sight on his dash cam. The moment an underground electrical vault exploded, illuminating the night sky and plunging the area into chaos. just exploded. But the story was far from over. As emergency personnel raced to the scene, they faced an escalating nightmare. The initial blast was just the tip of the iceberg as subsequent explosions rocked the area. Captain David Wolfe of the Orange County Fire Authority rushed to the scene, displaying remarkable courage. However, fate had other plans. A blast propelled him nearly 10 feet, leaving him disoriented and injured. The footage reveals the harrowing moments that followed, showcasing the resilience of our brave first responders. Here is an astonishing incident captured by a police dash cam, an unexpected encounter with a meteor streaking across the sky. Stay with us as we explore this one. The scene is set with a police dash cam capturing a routine patrol or perhaps an officer responding to a call. As the officer goes about their duties, a meteor suddenly streaks across the night sky. While the officer in this case may have been caught off guard by the celestial display, they undoubtedly had a front row seat to a once in a lifetime event. As the remnants of Hurricane Nate made their way up north, things got pretty scary. The skies turned dark and ominous and the winds started howling like crazy. The sky grew ominously dark, painting a scene of imminent danger. As the clouds swirled and thickened, it was a sight that sent shivers down the spine, a possible tornado forming right before our eyes. Nature seemed to sense the impending storm as birds darted through the air, seeking shelter from the approaching chaos. Their frenzied flight added to the tension and urgency of the moment. Out of nowhere, the skies opened up and rain started pouring like there was no tomorrow. It went from being a little gloomy to downright terrifying in a matter of seconds. The rain was coming down in sheets, making it nearly impossible to see more than a few feet ahead. The police officers quickly realized the potential danger and didn't waste a second and swiftly drove away, prioritizing the safety of themselves and others. Here is another heart-pounding footage of high-speed pursuit, quick maneuvers, and an unexpected twist as a GMC Denali trying to outrun the Arkansas State Police.
As the chase heated up, the Denali driver began weaving through traffic, making daring left-of-center moves, speeding and slamming the brakes, all in a bid to elude the relentless Arkansas State Police. In a moment of intense action, the trooper executed a tactical vehicle intervention maneuver, causing the Denali to swerve off the road. However, the determined suspect managed to navigate out of the ditch and continued their desperate escape. The pursuit eventually reached a climactic end as the Denali lost control while navigating a curve, crashing into trees and brush. The dust settled and the chaos subsided, marking the end of an adrenaline fueled chase. In our next video, Police officers from Blue Ash, Ohio, made a significant arrest in a stolen vehicle case that appears to be linked to a larger car theft ring linked to the tri-state area. It all began on October 31st, 2021, around 12.47 p.m., when Blue Ash police officers received a stolen vehicle report. Hands behind your back! Where's the rest of them? The stolen vehicle was spotted traveling on Pfeiffer Road and heading southbound on Reed Hartman Highway within Blue Ash. Fortunately, Several vigilant witnesses alerted the police to the suspects abandoning the stolen car near the intersection of Sycamore Road and Voorhees Avenue. All three occupants of the stolen vehicle fled on foot. With the help of these witnesses and Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies, all three suspects were tracked down and detained. Here is an action-packed video, a Greenfield police chase that unfolded in Wisconsin. In this video, we'll take you through the adrenaline-filled events that transpired, leading to a mind-boggling climax. In the early hours of a Tuesday morning, law enforcement officers in Greenfield, Wisconsin, found themselves thrust into an extraordinary high-speed pursuit. What originally started as reports of suspicious activity and a simple traffic violation rapidly escalated into a gripping chain of events. It was evident from the outset that this chase would be far from ordinary, gripping the attention of both officers and onlookers alike. The heart-pounding high-speed chase finally ended in a horrifying crash near the intersection of 60th and Lincoln in West Allis at around 2.45 a.m. The force of the impact brought the pursuit to an immediate halt, leaving no room for escape for the two men inside the fleeing vehicle. The apprehension of the suspects marked the conclusion of a thrilling chase that had kept law enforcement and bystanders on the edge of their seats. Here we have incredible footage that will ignite your curiosity and leave you mesmerized. On April 16th, 2019, a remarkable event unfolded in the skies over Bethany Beach, Delaware. Picture this. It was a serene Tuesday evening on April 16th, 2019. The sun has set, casting a warm glow over the horizon. Suddenly, a brilliant fireball emerges in the sky, leaving a trail of awe in its wake. Eyewitnesses were treated to an unforgettable spectacle as the fireball blazed through the atmosphere, capturing people's attention far and wide. This vigilant officer's dash cam impeccably captured the fireball's incandescent brilliance, tracing its graceful descent toward the distant horizon. Such awe-inspiring sights are a rarity for police officers to capture, and we extend our heartfelt gratitude to Officer Kutz for generously sharing this extraordinary footage. It was a night that would be etched in the memories of the midnight officers in Manchester Township. The weather was relentless, with rain, wind, lightning, and thunder creating a spectacle in the skies. The elements were at full force, causing transformers to explode and electrical wires to drop. In one particular instance, the officers responded to the intersection of State Highway 70 and Colonial Drive, where a power outage had knocked out a traffic light. As the officers worked diligently to set up traffic cones and direct traffic, sparks began to fly due to an arcing transformer. While a utility worker was handling a wire believed to be de-energized, a terrifying incident occurred. The wire unexpectedly caught fire as it struck the wet ground. Fortunately, the utility worker was wearing proper safety equipment, which undoubtedly saved his life. At the end of this harrowing night, the good news was that no one was injured and everyone made it home safely. Here is a police chase in Sterling Heights that was caught on a dash cam and will keep you on the edge of your seat as officers race through the streets, navigating sharp turns and narrow alleys in hot pursuit of the suspect. Oh, 
In Sterling Heights, law enforcement officers responded to reports of a suspect exhibiting reckless driving behavior. The dash cam footage from one of the police cruisers offers a glimpse into their challenging circumstances, a dimly lit and rain-soaked road, making their pursuit even more treacherous. In a surprising turn of events, the suspect abruptly abandons their vehicle and continues their escape on foot. Despite the suspect's attempt to outrun the officers, their determination pays off. The dash cam captures the intense pursuit coming to an end as the suspect is finally apprehended. The relentless efforts of the officers ultimately led to the successful capture of the suspect, ensuring the community's safety and bringing a sense of relief to all involved. Buckle up for a wild ride as we dive into the heart-pounding events of a recent traffic stop that escalated into a nail-biting pursuit. It's a Tuesday night on the ever-busy Interstate 95 when the scene unfolds. A pickup truck is caught speeding at a whopping 80 miles per hour in a 60 zone. Little do they know, their choice is about to ignite a chain of events that will leave you at the edge of your seat. Instead of cooperating, the driver decides to make a run for it, launching a heart-stopping pursuit that's about to push the limits in an unforeseen twist. The chase comes to a screeching halt as the pickup truck crashes in a fiery explosion. The intense impact sends shockwaves through the night, leaving us all in awe of the sheer power of the collision. A police pursuit began in the northbound lane of Arch Street near I-30, with law enforcement officers hot on the trail of the suspect. Reginald Andrews, 34 of Little Rock, found himself in a situation that led to his arrest. The chase began on Arch Street near I-30. escalating into a high-stakes pursuit that turned the streets of Little Rock into a wild ride and the talk of the town. The chase ended in a devastating wreck involving three vehicles. Hey, Little Rock, stop. Rescue. Just had a side collision. The exact details of injuries sustained during the crash were not immediately released, but here's where it gets even more interesting. After the wreck, the man didn't stick around to face the consequences. No, he abandoned his vehicle and made a run for it, thinking he could blend in with normal foot traffic. <laughs> However, it wasn't long before Arkansas State Police troopers caught up with him, ensuring that justice would be served. 